So how do you use the AirTag on an older iPhone that doesn't have the U1 chip? Like, you can use it all the way down to a 6S iPhone, which allows you to upgrade the OS to, to at least 14.5, and this one's at 14.6. So um, this iPhone doesn't have the NFC. It doesn't recognize the, the AirTag when you just bring it close. So you have to find a different method to, um, to get it to work. I have not seen on the Apple website that they show you how to do it on an older phone. They basically want everyone to upgrade to newer phones. You gotta go to find my phone. So or find my, you gotta go to find my. And open find my, and then you're gonna add items here. Press on that. Oops, it already, it didn't, it didn't pop up fully. See, it was like behind, it was like hidden. So press on items, add item, and you're gonna add an air tag. It was telling me to pull on the battery thing to, to activate it. This is the little piece that was keeping the, preventing the battery from being connected. So I'd already done that. So it's already on. It's already turned on. It's already beeped. So let's just hit connect at this point. And I can name it whatever I want to. Let's, let's, I'm going to use it for, let's say, the bike. So call it bike. And it's uh, registering it to my email address and my phone number. And it's setting it up right now. Okay, now it's set up and I can see it in the maps. And so um, view and find my app. And I can see its location. So that is how you set up an AirTag on an older iPhone down all the way to an iPhone 6S. I think the iPhone 6S is probably the oldest iPhone that you can do this with. So how do you check which OS you have and if it'll work? you need to go into settings, general, about, and in this case I have 14.6 installed, software version, that's the, that's the OS. And you need at least 14.5 for the AirTag to work. So, and the only, uh, the oldest phone that will upgrade to 14.5 or 14.6, I believe is an iPhone 6S. So this, this right here, this, this iPhone, 6S is one of the oldest phones that this will work with. And if you don't have that software version, then you need to go to software update and do an update here. But this says iOS 14.6, up to date, so it's good to go.